Hello everyone! Today I'm going to tell you a book about the Caterpillar and the Pollywog. Caterpillars are like other frogs. As dogs and hippopotamus and you and I get older, we get bigger, especially hippopotamus. But not caterpillar. Hippopotamus. Caterpillar. They turn into butterflies. Butterflies. Turning into something else like that is not a thing just anybody can do. Down by the pond, there, there lived a caterpillar who was very proud of being different. She bragged about it to her friends. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the snail. Snail. That's nice, said the snail, who really didn't care one way or the other. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the turtle. Turtle. I don't blame you, said the cat to the turtle, who didn't much like wiggly things. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the polywog. What fun, said the polywog. What are you going to turn into? But the caterpillar hurried on her way, looking for someone else to tell her a secret to. I wish I could turn into something else when I grow up, said polywog. You will, said the witch. All polywogs do. What am I going to turn into, said the polywog X. But the fish saw a tasty bug and dashed after it. Fish. Bug. When I grow up, said the caterpillar, who had circled the pond and was going round for the second time. When I grow up, she told the polywog again, I'm going to turn into something else. So am I, said the polywog. You? said the caterpillar was so surprised, she almost fell into the pond. The fish say so, said the polywog told her. Fish know things, they go to school. The caterpillar was upset, I thought only caterpillars could do it. She said rather sadly, what are we going to turn into? The polywog asked, well, I'm going to turn into a butterfly, said the caterpillar. Then I guess I will too," said the polywog happily. "Well, fun. Let's do it together." "All right," the caterpillar agreed. Although she would rather have done it alone, but I got to go first. The polywog didn't mind. He he wasn't at all sure how it would stop. "I'll watch you," he said. So when the time came, the caterpillar started to spin a cocoon. This is a tricky part," she said. The polywog watched as the caterpillar spun. Soon, only her head was uncovered. Now I have to close the lid," she said. "And when I come out, I'll be a butterfly." "Go ahead," the polywog said excited. "I want to see you do it." "It will take a while," said the cat. The caterpillar warmed. She started spinning again and was soon out of sight in the cocoon. For a long time, nothing happened, but the polywog was patient. He watched and watched and watched for days and days and days. At last, there was activity in the cocoon. The end of it opened, and very slowly, the caterpillar climbed out. Only she wasn't caterpillar anymore. She was a butterfly, a beautiful yellow butterfly. Butterfly. The polywog was so excited he hopped up and down for with delight. He he hopped up and down like a frog. I was so busy watching you," he said. "I didn't notice what was happening to me." A frog, Polly Walk is a frog. You've a very, you are a very handsome frog," the butterfly said. 
So she flew off as, she? as she flew off to try her new wings. But the frog was puzzled. I thought I was going to be a butterfly, he said. A caterpillar winked by. When I grow up, he said proudly to the frog, I'm going to turn into a butterfly. Something else. Something else. But the frog wasn't listening. He was admiring. admiring has refreshed his, his reflection. reflection in the water. I am, you know, I am a very fan, handsome frog. He said, "Bye bye."